Mia, what are you doing? What's under there? Oh. Hey guys, it's Rachel. So while I was cleaning my room, I found that I had maybe a million water bottles. Haters will say I'm lying. So while I was about to recycle all of them, I was like, hey, imagine people can make stuff out of these. I know a lot of people make stuff out of water bottles, but like this was a thought process that went on. If your house is one of those houses that just throws out the water bottles, don't throw them out. Don't put them in landfills. Make makeup out of them. <laughs> we, we, we have fun here on RCL Beauty 101. Give this video a thumbs up and let's see if we can get it to 400,000 likes for our earth and not destroying it. And comment down below which makeup product you would make if you made this. And also, if you want to see the behind the scenes from all my videos, add me on Snapchat because I kind of Snapchat the behind the scenes of things. Also, wait, guys, so I was in a Tiesto music video, which is super cool. So if you want to see me in a Tiesto music video, I'm going to put the link in the description box. You should watch it. Awesome. I'll even put it like the end. Let's get on with the video. To make the eyeshadow, cut off the cap area of the water bottle. Then cut off the bottom half of the water bottle. Then cut a circle out of the bottom. And take a hot glue gun and hot glue the two pieces together. Then that's the container. And then take something to mix the product in and some baby powder and pour it into the mixing container. Add a few drops of whatever color food coloring you want, then mix it up until it's the desired color. Then pour a little bit of rubbing alcohol into it. Then mix that up. Put that product into the container. Then take a tissue and a nickel and use that to press the product in. Then add something heavy on top of it till the rubbing alcohol evaporates and you're done. bronzer, cut the bottom half of the water bottle off and the top half off. And pour some cocoa powder into the bottom and some rubbing alcohol. Mix that up and use a tissue and something to press it down until the rubbing alcohol is evaporated. Then take the top half of the water bottle and cut an opening at the top but don't cut it all the way, leave a little bendy space. Then put that on top of the bronzer and hot glue the two pieces together. Then glue the cut part open just so that it has a grip and there's no openings. Then glue a small rubber band to the top half and measure how far you need the bottom half glue to be. Then let that dry and then you have a little grip to latch onto and that's the bronzer. Stick, take a water bottle, cut off a label and the top half of the water bottle, then cut the cap off. Measure how much of the piece you'll need to fold that into a lipstick container sized piece of plastic and cut it off. Then glue it, but fold it in a diagonal position so that both the top and the bottom half are both the same sized opening and cut off any extra plastic. Now take the other half of the plastic and glue them in the same way, but take a small piece of plastic and glue that on the top to make it the lipstick lid. And cut off any excess. Now take another piece of plastic and glue that in the same way, but make sure that the sizing fits inside the lipstick container. Then glue a piece of plastic on the top so that you can just push up the product. To make the product, take some Vaseline and food coloring and mix those two together until it's super pigmented, then place the product into the container. And put it into the freezer until it's solid. Once it's solid, cut some of the product off so that it's lipstick shaped. And then you could use a lever to push up the product, and that's everything. 